Hello, 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 this is Stevio here. We were in Iowa playing with the crew, and boy, oh boy, am I sweating it. We have zero crops, zero crops in the ground growing. Uh, today is a sloppy, wet mess out there, but we're going to make it productive, take a little trip down to Platte Valley. Let's get to it. So it's been raining. It's been raining hard. I guess that's why I'm so nervous about getting the crops in the ground because I have no idea when. Oh man, this is ugh, this is grimy. I should have walked through my house to get to the garage. Oh yeah, this is some sloppy stuff here. So yes, all the hay was rained on. Uh, at least we got some bales, but uh, most of it's rained on. Ooh. Which truck should we drive? It looks like the Ford has some bigger mud tires on it. Uh, yeah. Just because it just got a little bit more grip, I think I'm going to drive the Ford today. I guess we could drive the Boss, but it is way too muddy out there to be driving that thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm even... I'm getting even the rocks muddy here. This ain't good. This isn't good. I guess we definitely can't get into the field today. Man, that's gotta be a muddy mess over there. Wow, look at the rear view here. Holy cow, are we leaving a lot of mud. You know, I do have to go say hi to Grant. Should we drive into Grant's yard? Uh, probably... Mm, nah, that's probably a bad deal. I mean, look at that. Grant is uh, probably sleeping off this muddy mess out here. Gonna fill this gas hog up. Oh, I know, I know. Ford Power Stroke. It gets pretty good gas mileage, but uh, not driving through the slop. All right, got my coffee. I need to head over, over here to uh, the co-op. I'm gonna uh, hopefully find Jake. So I recently purchased an applicator from Platte Valley. One of their first purchases I've made to them. Uh, they've been promising they've been opening up. They, they've been delayed for the longest period of time. Uh, I don't know exactly why, but whoop, whoop, we better wait for him. He is not slowing down for city traffic. Come on. Oh, man, we got another truck. Holy cow. All right, we're going to go. We're going to go. Whew. So I need to stop over here to the co-op. I'm hoping Jake may be around. So I need to uh, pick up an applicator tank. Or a mixing tank. Whoa! Careful there, buddy. Holy cow. That guy... No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright. Alright. I'm out of the way now. Whew. Even when you put their your blinker on, it is... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Don't tell Jake that we're destroying his co-op. Oh man. Good thing is, is this is our tank right here. I'm gonna have to start the motor up so I can jack up the tires here. We are jacked up, so this is an applicator so you can uh, fill this up at the side of the field. That way we can have Jake or the co-op ship the product directly to our field and we can keep moving. Because once this slop is over with, we need to get in the field. I'm really sorry about this, Jake. I'll try to drive on my tracks as much as possible. Mm, 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 mm. Here we go. Here we go. I'm finally out of the mud. The slop is over with. Alright. Next item on the list is we need to go talk to Buck. Uh, Buck says that he may be able to hook us up. I'm hoping 
he can hook us up in a good way because uh, I need a planter and I need it now. I need to start getting them beans in the ground. Come on, I can't drive this tank. This tank is extremely high, so I can't drive it too quickly. So you guys are going to have to give me a little bit of spare room. There we go. Yeah. We got our hazards on. You got to slow down sometime. I mean, whew. traffic is not forgiving. Yeah. Yep. That's where we drove in here. So we just missed the turn. I guess if we would have went just a couple feet further, we would have saw the turn right up here. Right here. There we go. Do not enter. Uh, I'm not sure why it says do not enter here. Um, it's kind of hard not to enter when... Yeah, I guess... Ooh, wow. A trailer is all over the place. We gotta take it a little slow with that trailer. Ooh, look at that thing. Be bopping like crazy back there. It is just bouncing around. We're going slow. And we are making a mess. So this is the new Platte Valley implement dealer. Wow. I'm impressed. Very nice. Let's see what we got going on here. Don't think Buck is around. The gate's open. Does that mean we're loud in? Man, look at all this green candy over here. Oh, man. Just look at all that goodness. All that goodness out there. Uh-oh. That's the new 8R right there. 310, look at that. It has Dimco tanks on the side. Mm. Ooh, there's a planter up here. Oh, man. I'm going to have to uh, check all this stuff out. Ooh. Look at all this nice stuff. Ooh, I, I, I remember he purchased this... Uh, that motor tractor right there at the auction. Oh, we have a Challenger here. Ooh, look at the S-Series Harvester. Oh, this goodness. Oh, ooh, wow, look, there's even a red on the lot. Uh, case. Oh, wow, that's that expensive harvester he purchased. Gen 1 for like 500000 it's crazy. Yep, I'm definitely not going to pay that for it. Got stuff going on over here. I'm not sure why that windshield wiper is running there. Maybe it's expecting more rain. Look at all this stuff. You got stuff all over the place. Uh oh. Oh no. I, I forgot we're leaving tracks everywhere. Oh. Oh, now, now, we're, now we're on concrete. We're, we're good. Uh, yeah, we kind of made a mess of Buck's uh, uh, place here. Ooh, I feel really bad. Shh, shh. No one tell Buck. So I'm pretty sure this is our John Deere applicator here. So the plan is hopefully to borrow Farm Boy's uh, 8400. I'm going to put little uh, Demco side tanks on it, or put his side tanks on it, and then use this for applicating the field. Uh, this is a dry fertilizer applicator. Pretty good rig. Uh, it's a uh, applicator toolbar. I guess you could use it for side application too, if you want. Uh, the Moco, look, we even got a... Uh, 26 8260R pulling a mower. That's uh, a little bit over horsepower, but okay. Definitely over frame weight. Ooh, wow. We got a little massy here. I, I like this little sassy massy. That is a good little massy. Hmm. That's, that's a hard 
Decision. The little Sassy Massey or the Kubota. Both good tractors. I don't know. I would like one of them just for a little bitty chore tractor, maybe a mower tractor, uh, just to use it for the cattle. Okay, we got a whole bunch of implements. We got a uh, 8370R here. Hmm, look at all this good shininess. A 7210. Was this a 6R? Nope, that's a 6M. Sorry. And uh, RT. We got a uh, 33G. Uh, we got a S series harvester. We got the most expensive STS known to man right there. Just I I don't know if it really is, but uh, according to Buck, this is probably the most expensive uh, harvester there is. Uh, ooh, I like this little uh, 6110 here. That's a good tractor, Buck. Looks like it has a little age on it. 4730 sprayer that would be a nice uh, for the farm yard yep that would be nice another S series 670 that would be an option for the farm kind of our size definitely have to put duels on it then is way too narrow of floater tires for uh, our sloppy operation out there Man, I do like these uh, Challenger tractors. Would be nice to have one of them as a uh, maybe a planter tractor, maybe just a chore tractor. Look at this big beast here with the fatties. That's a nice 9R. And we got another STS. I wonder if I can purchase this for one fourth of the price of the 70 series. And now this. Is what I want to talk to Buck about. Prop possibly leasing this for planting beans. So I do have a lead on a possible row crop for the corn. I want to use this to plant the beans. What is this? A John Deere 542. Yep, so this thing is a beast look at this We've got a ladder to go up right here this thing has seed metering precision planting oh man I definitely made a mess of this uh, beautiful lot here oops I don't know if I'm gonna have the same uh, I don't know if he's gonna allow me to dimble it now man we're really gonna have to sweet talk so I thought this was a 310. This is actually a 370, which makes it almost perfect for that planter. So you need over 300 horse to pull that planter. 310 might have been right at the line. I got to I got to start it up. Ooh, listen to her purr. Uh, fold this down. Ooh. Let's drive. Man, look at that control. It's like a stick of joy right there. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. 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 I'm making a mess. Whoops. I just have to hook it up. I'm sorry, Buck. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna see how this thing looks together right now. Look at that butte! Other than all the mud all around the tires, man, I I just have to have this as a demo rig. I don't think I can really afford the tractor this year, but I may be really seriously interested in this planner this time around. Whew. Whew. I think Farm Boy should be about. He should be showing up with the actual his 8400 anytime right now. Here looks like Farm Boy's showing up right now. Ooh, wow. Look at that sexy operation now. Man, I'm so glad I purchased this. The John Deere 2510 little dry fertilizer applicator yep yep got the setup now 
fingers crossed, Buck won't look out the window when he's uh, when I'm asking him to demo that new planning rig over there. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Whoo, yeah, that looks terrible. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. Okay, Buck was not impressed that I left his farmyard a mess. At least he said his dealership will honor the demo.